All right, gamers, the monotone and energetic YouTuber new Merciless Vaughn is back with another Bleach Bray Souls video. And in this one, we are going to be showcasing the new Spirits Are Forever With You Untold Stories 5 Toshiro. So, yeah, without wasting any more time, we're going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully, you enjoy the video. If you do, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel or you have been here for a while, please consider subscribing and help me get to 100 subscribers. And without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so as you can see, this Safwe Toshiro is a technique unit with the Soul Reaper and Captain affiliation. He has the Soul Reaper and Squad Zero Killer. And as you can see here, I did pull a few more copies. I just need more to get him extra in it. But this show's case will be him at 1 out of 5 and T20. His soul trait is strong attack, recharge time minus 12%. And if we take a look at his skills, he has a melee unit with freeze on all of his abilities. He does have the gauge effect, so he gets 100% berserker and damage taken decrease 50% while the gauge is active. His innate skills are sprinter plus 2, full stamina only, increased strong attack damage 40%, and he gains full stamina damage boost. So basically at full stamina, this character just does insane amounts of damage. Gauge effect, strong attack recharge, 30% when you activate the gauge, and you also heal for 30% when you activate the gauge as well. He has a 40% berserker, ESC 20, I gave him full stamina damage boost, just for more damage. Air complete status immunity, 100%. Havoc 20%, frenzy plus one, bombardment, defibrillator plus five seconds. I also gave him weakened defense. Marauder and the status element spiritual pressure boost 80%. On paper, this character is just really OP. He does just so much damage. The status element spiritual pressure boost and with the gauge effect active, you will be just hitting extremely hard as well. And not to mention he does have bombardment, so his soul bomb is going to hit really hard when you have the gauge and the that is Elmer Spiritual Pressure Boost active at the same time. And so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into IZ and IT to see what he can do. And as for the accessories I am going to be using, it will be the T-Set, Fortification Pill, Lieutenant's Badge, and the links are as shown. And the bonus abilities, full stamina damage boost, and weakened defense. Alright, so here we are in an inheritance zone. There are Soul Reaper and Arankers enemies here. He will have killer against the Soul Reaper enemies, not the Arankers enemies. And as you can see, what I am currently doing on screen is his basic Nat string. And as for his strong attack 1, it is the best strong attack in the game, the 3000 lift beam with the 1020 width, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, the details of the strong attacks will be somewhere on the screen. And I already used this SA2, so I'll just go ahead and do it again. Okay. And as for his SA3, do keep in mind he does not have hit hidden enemies, so just watch out for that. You might have to put on the Zeta pill if you really want to, just to get those enemies hidden underground. And as you can see, there's the gauge effect going off, and we did get a heal when we activated the gauge. Units with the gauge are just insanely good, mostly because, well, they were good before, but they did buff the amount of gauge energy you get when you use strong attacks a while ago. So, yeah, gauge units are just even more OP. As you can see here, we're clearly easily running through the cons. That SA2, I really like it because it does have a lot of hits. Ah, uh, brought it up. Fine, crap. Uh, soul bomb. Alright, so here we are in Inheritance Trial. There are no affiliation enemies, but the bosses in this IT are Soul Reapers, so he will have killer against the bosses but not just the regular ass. You can ignore that Grim Joe that is in my party, he is not buffing my damage in any way, shape, or form. That Grim Joe is just here to give me extra pots and I need all the pots I can get. I do keep in mind if you're like going to use this Osiro to carry in Inheritance Trial, if they bring a Thousand Year Blood War Uryu, the most recent one, he he does have the skill Increased Technique, Attribute Strong Attacks by 
So he will be giving a increased 20% damage to this Total Shield Strong Attacks. So if you don't want to do anything in IT, just bring a Uryu and just help up this Toshiro to help him out with more damage. And this Toshiro is just easily clearing through the IT even without Killer. And also do keep in mind I'm not using the boost either because you won't have those boosts in IT and the enemies in co-op IT will be a lot stronger anyway. Activated our gauge, we got our SA2 and SA3 back in the heal. And as for his soul bomb. Alright, so here we are back in the Inheritance Trial, this time with the boost active just to see if we can get a faster clear time. I did bring my Uryu in this party just so he can give me 20% more damage to my strong attack, like, as I explained a few seconds ago. And also, more pots. Because you need all the pots you can get in this game. So even at 1 out of 5, this thing is just still hitting incredibly hard. That is Elma's Spiritual Pressure Boost and with the Gauge. Even if he didn't have the Gauge and he still had the Spiritual Pressure Boost or the other way around, he still would have done insane amounts of damage just from his skills. But just with him having both nice in the top tier unit. Maybe for a faster clear time, I could have to go on the Zelda kill just to hit the blue kill. Yeah, for a faster clear time, I could have done. But we got here anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter really. Alright, so that was a brief showcase of what this unit can do. Uh, yeah, right now this is my favorite technique unit in the game. Uh, he's close to pretty much being my favorite unit in the game. Mostly because he's one of my favorite characters from the series. But yeah, uh, yeah, he has Marauder, so you can take him into Gale Quest if you want to. Range, then melee, weak for Soul Reapers and Quad Zero. He can easily carry in co-op IT. He doesn't need to be 5 out of 5 to do so. 1 out of 5, he's just amazing. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you for watching. And as usual, until next time.